Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I am coming to you with a gun review. Today we will be looking at the Sig Sauer P320X5 competition uh, pistol. Uh, this is a, a new release from Sig. Uh, actually, I'm probably one of the first guys in the U.S. to be able to play with one of these. I was blessed uh, by Sig to uh, be one of the first uh, journalists to be sent one of these for testing. Uh, so... Uh, uh, I got this uh, uh, three or four days before uh, the general release and have been uh, shooting it and playing with it and just really absolutely loving it. Uh, let me also state up front, this video is a video supplement to my written photo review that can be found on throughmylens.org. And there is a, uh, a link to that written photo review that's in the description box of this video. I would strongly encourage you to uh, go to that link, uh, click on the review. There's lots of fantastic pictures and really all the details, the meat and potatoes that most people who are interested in this firearm are going to want to see. This video is really just designed to be uh, a quick uh, video overview to get some video footage of the firearm out there to the community. Uh, so the gun is safe. Uh, there's uh, no magazine or ammunition in the firearm uh, or in this magazine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert it just so that we can see what the firearm looks like. Uh, again, I, I have put, uh, over the last couple days, about 400 rounds through this, uh, through this new SIG P320X5, and I couldn't be more impressed. I'm a competitive shooter. I shoot USPSA. I shoot 3-gun. Uh, uh, I shoot uh, a couple of other things as well, and this is so going to meet uh, my needs as a competitive shooter. Uh, let me kind of give, give uh, a highlight of some of the uh, features. Um, first of all, this, the P320X5 does ship with four of these 21-round magazines. Now, P320 owners uh, may think these are the same 21-round magazines that have been available for quite some time for the P320. They are not. There's a subtle difference, uh, and I'm going to try to show... Uh, what that is. In my left hand here, I've got one of the old style uh, P320 21 round magazines. Uh, now, if you take a look side by side, pay attention to the polymer uh, base pads on these, you'll see on the uh, the X5 version of it, uh, uh, there's a there's a ramped area here where they've, uh, they've actually uh, kind of created a, a ramp, if you will, on these two wings. The wings that are on uh, the stock one do not show that. You'll see the same kind of ramp on the back side as well. Solid over here, ramp over here, uh, and that's to allow the uh, the piece to clear the, mat, the the bottom of the mag well. You try to inst insert one of the older style magazines into the P320X5, you can't make it lock in. Uh, a little Dremel work, you could probably make one of these older magazines work, uh, and I imagine a few folks will be doing that because of this writing. Uh, you can't buy additional uh, P320X5 magazines. Uh, but four in the box is great. That's fantastic. That will get most shooters through uh, most situations uh, that they would you know, find themselves in, faced with in a, in a stage, in a match. Uh, but, so come, coming with four magazines is great. Right now, uh, there aren't any uh, accessory magazines that you can purchase. I'm sure that'll be coming soon. <clears throat> uh, the grip module, the X5 grip module is different. It's contoured differently. One of the things that I really like are the, this cut area here uh, underneath uh, uh, the trigger guard area. That is so much more comfortable uh, uh, when you're shooting a lot of rounds and shooting in competition than uh, the standard P320 grip modules really like that cut there. Uh, obviously, you're seeing it does come with a magwell, uh, a flared magwell. Uh, this this is a, a metal piece that can be removed, um, but with the, the piece installed, it makes fast reloads uh, much, much uh, easier. Uh, so that's a great, great feature for the competitive shooter. Uh, from a sighting perspective, you will see that uh, there is a uh, Dawson Precision fiber optic front sight and uh, target rear sight here. That uh, uh, it's it's you know excellent, excellent. Uh, it's the kind of system that most 
competitive shooters would probably purchase on their own and install on whatever firearm that uh, they purchased. So the fact that it comes stock is fantastic. And uh, you will also see <clears throat> this uh, stainless bull barrel here uh, uh, that, again, is designed to be a little heavier, a little more accurate. Uh, again, uh, strongly, strongly designed from the ground up to be a competition model. There's also some cuts in the slide that you can see which is designed to lighten the slide and, and help the gun function with uh, the kind of lighter loads which competitive shooters uh, use uh, uh, when, they, uh, when they shoot in, again, a USPSA, IDPA, three-gun type setting. Uh, so the gun really, really is just designed from the ground up in excellent execution for competition use. A lot of folks will want to purchase this who aren't competitive shooters, uh, and that's okay. Uh, it's 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 pretty fantastic. Let's talk about that trigger real quick. Uh, the the P320 X5 comes with a Sig Sauer stock flat faced trigger. Uh, now the trigger that's on here is not this the uh, uh, the Sig X5 trigger. I went ahead and put the Bruce Gray Gray Guns Pelt uh, P320 flat faced trigger uh, on on this firearm, and I tested lots of different combinations. Uh, with the uh, uh, the gray guns trigger, because again, competitive shooters out there uh, have probably already migrated to that trigger, uh, that competition trigger, uh, which uh, came from Bruce Gray. It was available earlier this year, and uh, I had uh, I have a few versions of that available to me: uh, the curved version, the flat faced version, and uh, <clears throat> I tried different combinations of. Uh, just the stock X5 trigger with the pelt springs. I, you know, I kind of did some swapping. What I found uh, was the the best combination uh, for performance was the Bruce Gray flat face trigger with the, uh, the Bruce Gray uh, trigger uh, trigger spring replacement, and that uh, that yielded uh, the best results. Again, you can see uh, all the details of that in my written photo review. Uh, but uh, this current combination has a, a, uh, a pull weight of around four and a half pounds, uh, which is pretty darn good. The, the stock uh, X5 trigger is really good. Uh, it's, uh, it's about a pound and a half or so, close to two pounds, uh, reduced weight as compared to a stock P320. Most P320s are around seven and a half pounds in pull weight. Uh, the, uh, the stock X5 trigger came in at uh, uh, close to six pounds, um, uh, five, you know, five and some change. So uh, that wasn't bad, but again, you will see an improvement with the $100 uh, Bruce Gray Pelt trigger. It's great. Everybody who has a, three, uh, a P320 should be using it on their carry guns, their competition guns, it's fantastic. <clears throat> but the, uh, the important news here is I have confirmed, uh, I did a lot of testing and a lot of looking, and the, the P320 X5 trigger is different. It is improved over the stock P320 of previous generations. Um, there's, a, there's a subtle change in the geometry, uh, which again brings that pull weight down. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a little bit closer. It's like a half step between the, the old stock P320 trigger and the gray guns. So uh, uh, kudos to, <clears throat> to SIG for providing some, some improvements there. And uh, uh, this is the first time I've used a flat face trigger, and I found myself really liking it. I was surprised. I didn't think I would. Um, so again, very, very happy with that. Um, <clears throat> so, gosh, I have been, uh, uh, I, when I, when I first started, uh, you know, gosh, it seems like about 10 years ago, uh, seven or eight, when I really first got back into shooting, uh, voice had guns, but I started shooting seriously again and taking a lot of classes and started competition back seven, eight years ago. And I started with a full size gun. Uh, that hired, had iron sights. That was a, a Springfield Armory uh, MDX. And uh, 
uh, you know, liked it, used it for about a year, and then migrated. You know, I got I migrated over to the uh, M&P line, um, got some modifications to an M&P compact, and shot that for a long and carried that for a long, long time. Because I do believe in, in uh, you know, shooting in competition what you, with what you carry or as close as possible. Um, then a couple of years ago, got the you know got into the P320 line and fully transitioned over to, into that. But for the, I have been shooting in competition. Um, the P320 uh, fans of through my lens have seen my P320 compact that has a milled slide and a, a Trigicon RMR uh, inserted into it. I've, I've probably been shooting. Uh, I, I abandoned uh, iron sights, gosh, six, seven years ago, and I really haven't done much shooting with an iron sight gun. Done a lot of tri dry fire practice with that P320 compact, done a lot of shooting with it. When I got this gun, quite honestly, I expected that it would be a, uh, you know, a kind of starting over, uh, starting from the ground up, trying to get, you know, adjusted to this firearm. Right now, you know, I've done so much practice with my P320 compact. When I, when I draw, when I come up on target, that's, that dot is right where I want it to. I don't have to hunt for the dot. The dot is right there. That's just from the repetition that I've done. And I expected that, uh, you know, I would, it would take a lot of repetition for me to get that, that same place using this, you know, new firearm with a different sighting system. And where I found in dry fire and also, also when I got to the range, that was not the case. And that is the beauty that's inherent to using this system. I, you know, again, I don't use that, that term lightly. This is a system of kind of end to end that SIG has designed. Uh, you can you can use your P320 carry model, uh, practice with that, pa practice for, for defensive purposes. When you go into competition you, and you want to use something that's that's a little bit more of a gamer gun, a race gun, something that's designed to give you an edge in competition, uh, uh, you can use this and you don't lose anything when you do that. It's uh, a lot of guys, you know, when they progress in competition, they'll get to a point where they feel like to move forward, they need to go to something like a 2011 platform that has a completely different battery of arms than that plastic fantastic gun that they're that they're using. Uh, so now that they they have to you know practice and train for competition with one platform, and in many cases uh, you know carry a different firearm, uh, which can you know lead to problems if you get into a defensive shooting scenario. But that's not the case with this system. This is essentially a P320, and even though the grip looks radically, radically different than uh, uh, than you know anything else in the P320 line, you pick this gun up. If you if you're proficient with a P320, you're gonna you're gonna come in and, and be able to just go to the races with this. Uh, so it really is fantastic. Um, you know the one of the great things about this new grip module again these uh, there's some uh, undercutting here in the, in the, uh, in the grip uh, under the, the trigger guard, which oh, it, it just feels so good uh, from a competition standpoint. This is just a fantastic, fantastic firearm. Um, again, uh, you know, I want to keep this short. Just want to get some some video footage out there uh, of the you know 400 rounds that I fired. Um, no failures whatsoever. This thing ran rock solid, just like you know every P320 I've ever shot. And amazingly, even though I was going from a, a red dot optic system to iron sights that I haven't shot again in about six years, uh, within about a hundred rounds, I was I was shooting, uh, and I was shooting on steel plate rack. I was shooting, you know, with accuracy and speed uh, that was as good as I could do with my P320 compact. And uh, in some cases, actually better. Uh, the gun shot faster for me, uh, uh, just shot smoother. The draw was easier. Doing reloads was easier. Uh, I think, you know, with uh, a little more practice, I'm going to be able to uh, see some real improvement uh, in uh, my performance in competition going to this platform. Um, so again, in some cases, some of the differences are subtle. 
but for competitive shooters, uh, it makes a world of difference. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, more coming soon, so please, uh, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, uh, and uh, you know, two thumbs up on the on the P320 X5. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.